important events, states to emit low balances, liquidity pool ratios or exchange rates. It really depends on um, how complicated your pricing oracle is. If it's that simple as a liquidity pool, hopefully not, then that's enough. Um, it may be more complicated. You may uh, even, in fact, have a surrogate for that, right? An exchange rate. Depends on um, the level of detail and the uh, exchange, the calculations you're using. All right, so uh, the next thing you might want to emit is the change in ownership. Uh, funds distribution, right? if money is being taken out, maybe the owner is taking some of the profit out, speaking of profit, when it's being taken out by the legitimate owner, you want to know when that happens, in case someone else besides the owner is attempting it. Um, that's more uh, DeFi, attributes generated. I won't do any reimagining because this is now in the area now of traditional IT. And there are plenty of presentations, talks, blog posts, articles, books, magazines about you know how to do that right. I will, however, give you some more background. There was, not, in addition to no privilege access management, no log aggregation, no monitoring then of login, log out events, right? If your logs are not aggregated, if they're still sitting on the server at the point of origination, um, well, it's very difficult to monitor, isn't it? So no aggregation, no being sent to a log manager or SIM, so no monitoring, uh, and no attestation, right? If someone sees that login on something so critical, I will, I would want to know. So you'd want to contact the person, it was at you, why'd you do it? Uh, I'm not really a governance kind of guy with my background, but I know that it has its uses. 